one, two, three. Alright, I sound good. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome to Danya Rumba. Or Danya Rumba stream. <laughs> anyway, um, I stream. This is. You're probably wondering, like, wow, you're right here. Yes, that's because I streamed last, late last night. Or late, yeah, late last night. But it was at 2 02 in the, 202 in the morning. I never meant to stream that late, but I had te technical difficulties. But it fixed itself later on. But. The video was 3 hours and 58 minutes long because that class 3 trial was a killer. I actually got a failure, or I, f the case ended in a failure first time because there were just a lot of things I wasn't paying attention to, but I was able to get past it. I got an A at the end, but I got two B rings to show how, you know, how I was not paying attention or how bad I was doing. But anyway, um, we got through the class trial. Uh, I did export the video, but I exported it late because I overslept today. So, well, yesterday, because it's, it's uh, 1.54 in the morning, which is bad because I meant to stream this at 10 or 12, but I ended up getting off track. I'm sorry! I really need to get better. I apologize. I will get better, though, I promise. Anyway, I didn't feel like... I felt like streaming and playing this game some more, so... Even if you don't catch me, which I don't expect you to on stream, you can watch it on YouTube, which is on my channel, Phantom Light 22 Phantom, L-I-T-E, one word, 22 at the end. No space, it's all one word. <coughs> you can just watch it under my playlist, Dan Garampa Stream. Anyway, let us begin, shall we? Uh, after, you know... Just look at the previous stream to know like what happened and, and such. I did do the voiceovers and everything, but I have to say I didn't do as good though because well it was late and I was a little tired. But anyway, I feel I'm good to go for now. Leon killed Sayaka. Monokuma killed Junko. Then Leon got executed. Then Mondo killed Jahiro. And then he got executed. Hifumi killed Taka. Then Celeste killed Hifumi. <laughs> yeah. For those who have not seen my stream, uh, it spoils that Celeste was executed for killing Hifumi and the event was a double murderer. <laughs> well, trip. No, it was double murder. Then she got executed. Yeah. Not a pretty sight of how she died. <laughs> And that brings us up to where we are now. Yep, so there's seven of us left. Well, f yeah, five normal, somewhat normal people, and the other two, one's a jerk, the other's a freak. <laughs> and a kill has a killer side. The next morning in the dining hall, the day after Celeste's case. Oh, so now there's only five of us left. Only a third of the number of people we started with. Yeesh. Indeed. Loneliness has become common, commonplace. I, in other words, she doesn't really feel that bad. Kyoko, you have a, a silent, cold, or shadowy-like heart. Hmm. That's tr that's true. Thank you, Sakura. Thank you very much for agreeing with me. Thank you very much. Still. What did I see yesterday? This was at the end of my previous stream of this, uh, fight event. I don't understand. Sakura is the Mastermind's spy? Can that really be true? Mako Makoto, are you okay? N no, I'm a little confused. I mean, I'm fine. I can't bring it up. I can't bring this up in front of the others. And if I did that, it would just confuse anyone that much. It would just confuse as well as put my life on the line. Not that it's already on the line. Hmm. Okay. Okay, in that case, let's eat till we pass out. Hmm? What do you mean in that case? Where are you going with this, Aoi? Because, I mean... Well, because look how scary everyone looks. I mean, I can't tell if you guys are, are going to go insane or just... Well, break out in insanity. It's gotta be because you're all fighting on empty stomachs, right? Doesn't that make you feel better? 
If you fill up your belly, I'm sure you're all chill up. Chill up. Cheer up. So let's eat. Okay. Let's fry up some fish and donuts and eat till we can't stand up. Owie, what kind of meal is that? Fish and donuts. That's like saying, let's have hamburger and ice cream. Pizza and... Pizza and yogurt. Uh... McDonald's and... Dunkin' Donuts? Well, you have that after, but... Well, never mind. Whoa, that's like a Deep Impact style Meteor Impact Extension Level e Event combination of foods there. No one eats fish and then donuts? That's creepy. And... Doesn't sound very good in your food triangle. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Aren't those the top, the time top sellers of breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Besides the point, the till we can't stand up part would be a problem. After all, after we are finished, we do need to explore. I see. That's right. Since the glass trial is, is done, new area should have been should have been new area should be open to us now. It's true. Plus, we still have Alter Ego. We don't have to give in to despair. Not yet. She's right. We have to plan ahead and think about the future. You Our got future. It. Yeah, yeah. Think happy thoughts, not deadly thoughts. Or deathy, deadly thoughts. You know? <laughs> like we're like when are we gonna get out of here, right? For serious. When this is all over, I think I wanna get reborn for serious. Or, I mean, reborn as someone in serious. Well... <clears throat> okay, are you really talking like that, dude? I mean, that sounds like something someone would say who's going to die soon. <clears throat> I'm totally okay. I'm not going to die. Why? Because there aren't going to be any more murders. Um... Uh, what makes you so sure? According to the spirits... I, I predicted it last night. Since it revealed itself to me from the... From the Ether, there's no doubt about it. Oh boy, your shenanigans is coming back. However, how accurate is your fortune telling anyway, Yasuhiro? How about that? I can usually hit 20 or tw 20 or 30. Yeah, we saw that because he basically charged us when we really didn't believe him, and yet he charged us anyway. Just look at the stream. Yasuhiro's full of it, whatever it is. That seems very low. 30's not a big number, nor is 20's even worse. It's not like some occult Well, yeah, mystery. it's not like it's ESP or whatever. Of course, I'm only gonna get it right sometimes. The occult is bullcrap! I told you, my fortune telling isn't like some oculate thing, you know? So, um... Fortune telling isn't oculate? Oculate? Occult, I'm sorry, why did I say oculate? It's occult. Oops. You got it all of wrong! Of course not! Clairvoyance is clairvoyance. Don't put it in the same category as cattle mutiliz mutiliz cattle mutilate mutilation. Cattle what? So he's referring to the urban legend where aliens abduct cows and dissect them as part of their research. I think I've seen something like that in a video game, but I forgot which one where aliens abduct cows for some reason. Was that a side quest in that Majora's Mask game? Zelda? I've never played Majora's Mask, that's why I don't know. Hmm. Actually... No! No! You're calling it an urban legend? As a matter of- oops, sorry. As a matter of fact, it's true. As a matter of fact, it's happened to me. Hmm. It all happened one day when I went to, get, to go get a hamburger. It was a place I'd never been before. They claimed their patties were 100% all beef. So I got a burger to go and headed home. But... And before long... The end is nigh! The sky was filled with a mysterious blinding light. Some crazy beam came out of nowhere and locked onto my hamburger. And as soon as the beam touched it, the burger started floating in midair. And then... Still floating there, the entire burger started coming apart! Wait... What kind of burger did he... Did he order a Big Mac? Because I see two burger... Two beefs in the middle. I, I'm assuming that's lettuce. Is that lettuce? Like, is that extra lettuce in a pickle? Or is that just extra lettuce? Because it, I'm wondering if, the, if that's supposed to be like a Big Mac from McDonald's. I think it is a Big Mac. Because look, there's three buns, two burgers, and salad. And I think if I recall, a Big Mac has two be two burgers and a third bun in the middle. And it's supposed to have like slight onions and sauce. I forgot what though. One part of it just vanished. 
while the rest fell back into my hand. Do you realize what that means? It means the burger wasn't 100% beef. It must have had some pork or something mixed in. I don't really think it... Do I look like I care if it was beef or pork? Well, I understand you would want to eat one or the other because based on your diet option, but... Really? Something like 70% pork and 30% beef would be my guess. Oh, brother. You can't trick me. So I stormed back into the burger place and got up in the manager's grill, and they totally admitted it. It wasn't 100% beef. They totally mixed in ground pork with it. How about that? Now do you see? That is a cattle mutilization. I actually lost interest halfway through uh, Yasuhiro. I can't tell if you're the uh, occult or against. I can't tell for the cold or against. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. <laughs> you you stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of. Uh, how dare you? Uh, Yasuhiro, you ha the old saying: you have to believe it to see. It. You have the wrong one. You have to see it to believe it. <laughs> Well, you do stink, though. Mm. Well, that's fine. Excuse me? How is it fine to stink? Okay, back to the subject, because this is getting awkward and creepy anyway. I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me neither. I mean, never. Even if I'm stuck in here. Oh. Of course. Me, me neither. Indeed. I refuse to as well. That goes for me as well. I could never kill any of my friends, no matter what the cost. I felt like those words of encouragement were helping us get along. And I was trying to be positive in a way because char other characters said the same thing and they still committed crimes. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we finally become united. Well, you guys did. What about the other two? But... Well... To be honest, I wish Bianca and Toko were here for this as well. Took the words right out of my brain. But... But... They're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. They, they look down on people, which sucks. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without them, I say. Well, without them in our life. Or in our face. Well, that was enough to prove we were united for the time being. But within that bond hit weakness and fragi... Fragi... Fragility. Chapter 4. What the heck? All Star Apologies. Is that Chihiro and Aoi? That look like Chihiro and Aoi. I thought Chihiro was dead. Yeah, I'm looking at the sh uh, stream. Uh, that looks like Chihiro. Or is that supposed to be Alter Ego? I don't know. <laughs> It might be alter ego, but what, something's going to happen to Aoi if she's in the... Well, I wouldn't say something's going to happen. Maybe Aoi's going to be a big part of this chapter. Who knows? We began our search as soon as we finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up, what was waiting for us. Alright, so let's leave. Um, I'm assuming that... Because the Monokuma said every class trial, the floor, the doors are open to a new area. So let me see. I'm gonna let me. See. I think the fourth floor is available now. I think. Cause it'd be weird if it wasn't. Cause I mean we've been in, we've been through the area like multiple times and. Oh wait, uh but my eye itches. Well, uh, I've been playing some Pokemon Moon while I was uh, off streams, and I'm getting further and further. The game's not too hard, but, eh, you know, I haven't played in a while, because I kind of just stopped in the middle of it, and I just, uh, and then I, later I decided to go back. I still have to also be Harvest Moon, I mean, Story of Seasons as well, which I have not played, because it's been kind of tedious and when I say tedious like nothing new happened until like the next season I really wish they added more I really wish they would add more to that game like I really wish they would make it more exciting by adding some type of event or festival or, or something when your character is like okay wrong way 
when your character's in a relationship or something. But it's just, it's no different. Oh, here we go. Yep, the third floor is now open. So now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope Speak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Also, if I recall, uh, Makoro hasn't told anyone about the secret. Well, only Kyoko knows about it. I'm not even gonna... Eh, let's look in the boys' bathroom. I doubt we need to go to the girls... Let me see. Uh, there's nothing to explore. Nope. It's no different than the bathroom on the third floor. Yeah, okay. I don't know why. I thought he was gonna say something different. Oh, we have a data lab. Huh. What's this under me? What, what's under here? Hmm. We got 4A, 4B. Hmm. There's another floor? Okay, obviously there's probably gonna be another crime or murder then. Alright, so we're on the fourth floor. What's this? Oh, this is the headmaster's room. Interesting. That's like the principal's office, I'm assuming. Or is this the office? Okay, one thing at a time. Uh, okay, so... What's in here? This is... Oh, the music room. I do like to listen to some video game music. But you know what? Let's start with the data room. If I can find it. Because I was, I was right there in its face and... Hold on, I saw the data, there it is, I can see I just missed it. No good, the door's locked. Guess I won't be getting in here. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center. But what's behind the door is a total mystery. Or not, okay, well I guess I can't go in there. Maybe Magikuma doesn't want us going in there yet. Well this is unlocked. I'm just wondering, those doors we, oh, what's this? One day I saw Monokuma in class. La 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 la. Gobble gobble. Wait, is this supposed to be Makoto? Why? Wait, what's? Wh okay, I'm a little, I'm a little freaked out with Monokuma. It's like Makuma, Makuma, Monokuma has some type of weird obsession with Makoto right now. And when I say weird obsession, I mean like it's like he's literally stalking us. Well, he's stalking everybody, but it's like. Maybe because of Makoto saving everyone's life from getting murdered. Yeah, I knew that was there. Oh yeah, and I got 95 Monokuma tokens. I'm not sure if I'm going to go after the items this time. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all, but there's there's a lot. There's like a... Bleh. I'm glad this floor got opened up and all. Yeah, but... There's like a ton of locked rooms up here. Oh, really? So that data center's not the only one that's locked, huh? Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school store. I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. Peek. Yeah, right. It makes me wonder, who's controlling Monokuma? I find two Monokuma coins. I'm, I'm not gonna do this every time because I trust me. In the past, I used to, I used to always look for Monokuma coins. But if the better, the better you do in uh, the class, the class trials, the more coins you get. I bet you if you play this on Mean, you get even more coins instead. Like Mean, I think not only becomes harder, but you get more coins. So I bet you if you play this game on Mean, you get even more coins than usual, which makes it easier for you to uh, reach the max, which is 999, which is, actually that's an achievement in this game, to get 999 Monokuma coins, unless they allow you to grind. But, oh yeah, let's check the music room. <laughs> but, you know, don't worry about that, I'm doing that off camera. This is just me, ooh. This is the music room? It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. And look, there's Toko. Ki oh my goodness, I can't talk. Kyoko, why did I say Toko? They have almost similar names. Let's see. Surveillance cameras up there. Why are there so many cameras? Did Monokuma put them there or does the school have them automatically? Alright. 
This is this a grand piano? Seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play, it's completely useless. Or totally, totally useless. You know, if I wanted to learn to play piano, the first music I would learn is to play, or the first music I would want to learn and play, Midna's Layman. I love that music. If I ever learn to play the piano, that's the first one I want to learn and play. I just, it's just it would never get old, even as I get older, or become old. I would never get tired of that music, at least for an hour. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet, what you're thinking yet. What I'm thinking. I'm not psychic. So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. I still question how you got in... Never mind. Ah. Well... Um... I did find the secret room, Kyoko, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked. By who? Well, I don't know who. They came from behind me and I didn't have any time to react. So I couldn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mounds of files and documents, they were all gone. Ah, that's a disappointment. Sorry, I know how it's fine. I already saw what I need to I already saw what I needed to see in there anyway. And I have suspected the mastermind might come after you as well. Well I expect I have suspected the mastermind might, you know, assault you like they like they did already. Huh? Because when I discovered the room, the mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the mastermind would react. Essentially, I, f I wanted to find out if the mastermind actually knew about that room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room. That must mean there were there was some unknown clue, there was some unknown clue in there that could have revealed the mastermind's identity, maybe. Hmm. Then, wait. Are you saying you knew I was going to get attacked? That doesn't matter. Come on, you can handle that kind of thing, can't you? After all, you are. Wow. Wow. Why do female characters become so stinking rude to us male characters? She says, oh, but you're a boy going to grow up into a man. You're supposed to take, you're supposed to taint those. Hello, not every male is like that. Not every male's a bodybuilder. Uh, Sakura could take it because she had training. Makoto's your average normal person. The only way Makoto would be a bodybuilder is if someone encouraged him. But I mean, even that might not work because he would be sore from all the exercise. He didn't, he never had that. What if his body is not as strong as other men? What does she think a boy is? Uh, I really don't understand, but I'll just pretend that that was some sort of compliment, even though it wasn't. But let me ask you something. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note said, you must not leave. Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. At least not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the camera. So... I'm looking into it. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She may have sound like she's asking me, but it was clear I wouldn't have any choice in this matter. So then... So, now it's your turn. Let's hear your secret. What secret? Hmm. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Aren't I wrong? No, but I wish you were. But... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Mm -mm. Well... Hey. We're friends, so it should be okay for you to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? Yeah, I did say... Yeah, you're right that friends don't keep secrets from each other, but I was only being nice because I wanted to get to know you, which I regret. There's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Ooh, this is a hard one. Hmm. Should I tell her? Or should I not tell her? I don't think it matters, right? Does it matter if I tell her? I'm curious. If I... What if I told her? If I told her about Sakura? If I tell her, though, what, how is she going to feel towards Sakura? And if I don't tell her... Then she's probably gonna be angry at me and our friendship will break. But at the same time. Mm. 
I, I can't say how trustworthy I am towards Kyoko, but at the same time, what if Kyoko does something and and what if she exposes me for the sea? You know, I'll tell her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it just could make things much worse. Friends should keep secrets, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend. Oh! I can't tell her. Okay, so it's automatic. I can't tell her. Alright, so it's automatic. Sorry, Kyoko. Okay, so obviously, yeah, we would tell her, but the game's saying, nah, Makoto doesn't have evidence, so you're forced to not tell her. Okay, game, thank you, because I was worried there. Obviously, I would tell her, because it would get out of hand if I didn't tell her. S sorry, Kyoko. As much as I want to tell you, I can't. At least not yet. Oh. So... That's your answer? However... But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, but you're unwilling to share yours? I'm sorry. I really am. <laughs> that's fine. Whatever. Goodbye. See ya. Aw. Oh, with those parting words, Kyoko left me standing here all by myself. <sighs> I think she hates me again. Or she went from not giving a care to hating me. Ugh. Well, we didn't have a choice. The game kind of forced me, so... Kyoko hates us, but it's Makoto's fault, not mine. Makoto made that choice. I would have told through Makoto, well, I could say I saw something interesting, but I don't know how to say it, but I have no evidence to say it. Oh, I saw Sakura talking to uh, Monokuma, but if you say anything, Monokuma could get me killed. Oh, never mind. I'll, it, it's just a funny thing. How dare you... Never mind. But now Kyoko's mad at me. Good going. Huh? This is the office. What kind of office is this? Wait. Wait a minute. Okay. You guys may have never heard about this game. But it's a game created by a man who's been working on it for a couple of years. Maybe three or four years. Or three. I forgot when he started. But it's been... I think he started in 2012. Okay, maybe four or five years. I, I'm probably wrong. But... Doesn't this room, because to me it looks very similar to the room, to his game creation. This room reminds me of Yandere, Yandere, or Dere, Dere Simulator. Where there's a room where there's like a whole bunch of teachers sitting down typing. And the room sort of looks like that, but it's a bit shorter. There's another room too where there's, where you can like, where a few of the characters play computer games in there. But this room, it's, it's, it's styled the same way or it's almost exactly like Yandere Simulator, but the detail's different. Minus the flowers and all, but the style of those, um, tables are the same. The tables and chairs are very similar. I'm assuming that's how Japan and school had the, had everything styled when the, I don't know, that's, I don't know anything about Japan, but I'm assuming that if you grew up in, J if you were growing up in Japan, like from birth to wherever, and you went to school, I'm assuming that that's how they, that's how the school was, I'm assuming. Well, of course, there's no hint of any teachers that we normally be able to rely on. Okay, so it is. So, it's based off the Japanese school. Huh? What's this? Huh? There's a picture on the floor. This picture... What?! Celeste? He fooled me? And Sayaka? Okay, uh, he, uh, Celeste, you're scaring me. Okay, Celeste's hair's black again instead of dark blue. But, uh, where you have your eyes, that's kind of scary. Because you look like you're about to tear his, uh, you're about to tear off his, uh, eyelashes. I'm not serious. You look like you're trying to grab his eyelashes and tear them off, Celeste. And that's an interesting school uniform Sayaka's wearing. Because, uh, instead of wearing a sailor's outfit, she's wearing a sweater. Well, yeah, it looks like a sweater, and I'm not kidding. I don't recall. I guess she's wearing that because it's cold outside. Because if I recall, I think, gir well, I don't know if girls actually wear those styles in in uh, Japan. Japan. I, some people say they do, some they say they don't. Because I mean, if they wear, they can wear the style, but the skirt part is what scares me because it's way too short. I know it's called a mini skirt, but you know, unless you're wearing something under there that pre prevents any shots. That's scary for a girl, though, and for a boy, because if, they, if it's, it, it could go the wrong way when it was an act. Yeah, that's anime. Anyway, 
And I noticed that Celeste's the only one that's wearing the same outfit, so I, I don't know. The smiling faces of three people who are dead now. Celeste isn't smiling, she's like trying to sh trying to rip Kim Fumi's face off. A classroom without metal plates over the windows once again. Is it? What season is in that picture? Is it warm or is it cold? Because I'm thinking it's cold because of what Sayaka's wearing. Otherwise, it must the AC must be on high. It's exactly the same. It's just like that picture I saw before. It makes me wonder because to see Mondo, Leon, and Chihiro. It's weird to see, uh, oh, that, you know what, they probably didn't know. I wonder if they knew that Chihiro was a boy. Oh, never mind. What am I talking about? Never mind. It was a boy before his, you know, after his death. There's no way this isn't, th there's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way we expect any normal teenager to smile. Some of them don't look like teenagers. They look like they could be 17 or 18. By teenager, you're talking about them graduating already or hitting 12th grade. Just a normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe they were able to smile like that in a world of despair, though. So does that mean this picture was taken before they ever came to host Peak? Which would mean... Everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? How? When everyone arrived, they were strangers towards each other. Including... Sayaka? No, there's no way! Monokuma must have done this! It must be a fake! <laughs> faker? How dare you call me a faker? You're the fake around here! <laughs> Monokuma popped up out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. <laughs> a 4D plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey! Um... If there were such a thing as the Noble Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place! Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true at all! I asked you a question. Is this picture real or is it a fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey, but um... it's But it's no use! Just no use! If you try to split something that you can't split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split! It's true! The picture is real! No more, no less! <laughs> go, go, go! Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. I'm surprised Monokuma actually said that it was real instead of just making him guess because he would have said Oh, you take a guess. Is it real or is it? But he said he just came out and said the picture's real more or less So the picture's real It's really real if that's true if that's the case Hmm, when was it taken though? I mean that doesn't mean that pictures of Hope's Peak They probably were in another school, but it doesn't explain the fact that how did they not know each other? Did it happen like maybe a year ago and they forgot? There are there's a flower on the desk somehow it makes things feel that much weirder yeah, like I said, I don't know if they... If they wanted flowers, that's fine. But I mean, why so many? What? Oh, there's more than one flower. Okay. Okay, so I guess there's only three that I can scan. Surveillance camera, of course. I wonder what... I'm just trying to remember, like... I'm trying to remember, like, this is supposed to be, like, the computer room or something? Oh, no, this is supposed to be the office. Yeah, I mean, if someone's allergic to flowers, would you really want that much flowers in the, uh... Would you want this much flowers in a room? I, I doubt it would... Yeah. Alright, so next up is the headmaster's room. And then I think there's one more room, and that's all the fourth floor. The nameplate on the door says, Headmaster's Room. Headmaster's room. There must be something worthwhile in there. Huh? The door is locked. Darn it! Ah, uh, was too good to be true.
Huh? What's this room? Hold on, I can't- come on game, work with me. Chem oh, chemical lab. I think that's the chemical lab. Okay, well, let's check it. I thought that said chew. No, it said chemical lab. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was was oppressive. So this is the chemical chemical lab. I hope inhaling all this doesn't do permanent damage to my system. Yeah, I don't want to. We already got sickos in here. We don't want to get sick from the sickos. Of course, I went from 119 to 124. It's a remarkable big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. That's right! Ah, listen, Makoto, listen, just take a deep breath and calm down and listen to me! Hina, you're the one who needs to listen and chill out, girl. Come on. <gasps> There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine, okay. creatine, and... What? Oh my gosh! They even have... How do you spell... How do you pronounce this? Proteasium X? Protein ZMA X? Wait, what's that? Hey! It's a high quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swan cheap swill in the warehouse. It's con it's conos conoisier level. Uh oh really? <sighs> this is so amazing. It's a gold mine. Oh my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up on these prayers then. A gold mine, huh? I guess I keep forgetting that Sakura is not the only one that works out. I forgot. I always works out too, and they both take certain proteins or vitamins to keep themselves fit. It's just that Aoi doesn't look like the fitting type, but she is the ultimate swimmer, swimming, whatever. But I forgot she does other things in swim too. Like I think she runs a lot too, because if you the the more you run, the stronger your legs become. Because, I mean, you need you need to have strong legs in order to kick, which allows you to move underwater or on the water. And I think you have to have a certain, what you call it, to flow, because otherwise you'll sink. Well, I've already taken a good look at things around here. There's a lot to think about, but for now, I think we should I should head back to the dining hall and talk to the others. But I wanted to talk to Sakura and Aoi first. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Not long after I got the to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. After a few more minutes. Hmm. So, is this everyone? Well. Okay. Le okay. Let's discuss what we all discovered. Hmm. Yeah. Good idea. Well, we're back to being worried again. Hmm. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an in an inch. In other words. Just like everywhere else. Just like everywhere else, huh? Hmm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Well, that was to be expected, because Monokuma slash the headmaster won't let us out. Not yet. Yeah! There was a big shelf in the chemical lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and such. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient ad added, added, additives and supplements. You should go at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Olga are probably the only ones interested in that stuff. Mm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff, though. There was medicine and health stuff, but, but on top of that, um. there was also, um, ugh, a bunch of different poisons. P poisons mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake unless you can't read. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Anything that spills and anyone that gets on... If it spills and gets on anyone, it would be a problem. Um... And... I doubt... We should ever tell Biafi or Toko about this poison, right? Hmm? What do you mean, not tell them? Well... Well, just in case... Come on, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, um... Just in case... Oh... That... Yeah, I think you're right. <sighs> However, it's Byakuya. It won't be long before he's discovered before he discovers it himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open. Duh, Monokuma. That's absolutely the work of a mastermind. Alright, stupid head, what do you have to say? Hmm. Hey, I found a couple of rooms on the fourth fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. Uh. The headmaster's room? That sounds like that sounds like exactly the kind of place we find some clues. 
If we can somehow unlock the door and get inside. But who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be it should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. <laughs> what was that, boy? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> no, please continue that sentence, please. <laughs> Did you, did you say I got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest hips in town? Is that what you said? What the heck? Oh, heck no. I'm not gay. Yuck. Hey. Hey, Come what do you mean now. gay? I'm a robot, not a, uh, whatever. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. Did you? <laughs> um, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, you know. You know? Knock it down your headmaster's door. What kind of war on education are you trying to start here? Your teacher had such That's faith my in room, me. you know. It is now, you anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? I don't know what he was saying, but I was talking the most, whatever he said randomly. You seriously don't want to anger me, do you? You have any idea how much bacteria lives lives on a single bear claw? Uh. Um, bacteria on a bear claw. But you're a robot. Uh, I was kidding. Uh, please don't get mad, Monokumia. I mean, Kuma. I'm not mad, you idiot. No, you're totally mad. I can see it in that left red eye of yours. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this. But if you're going to go around having these thoughts, I have no choice but to add this to the school regulations. Again? Seriously? Too bad! Breaking down a door is prohibited! There's a- there- that's a rule now, you jerks! The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. And he's gone. Man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me right there- right then and there. Well, But if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the- Yeah. But unfortunately, now that it's a rule, not, there's nothing we can do about it. Hmm. Oh boy, now we gotta talk to Kyoko, who's probably very angry with us for not telling our secret about Sakura. But we gotta do it. Um, Kyoko? Hmm. <laughs> she's ain't, she's still like, she's ignoring me. So, um... Hey, uh, Makoto? Does Kyoko seem upset to you? She is, isn't she? She's like totally angry, I bet. Yeah, it looks that way. Hmm. What's your deal? Oh my gosh. It's your fault, isn't it? What did you do to the poor girl? Did you make the wrong moves on her? Ugh, I was afraid of this. This is why I didn't want to say don't tell her. Because stuff like this would happen. Hmm. So, everyone said what they need to say, right? Hmm. No, Kyoko, well, I guess so, since Kyoko doesn't want to say anything because of Makoto. Serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues after all, let alone a way out of here. Uh -huh. I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up, please. Can I say something real quick? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in bed, the jerk. That's... Uh, oh, come on, I have something I want to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found that picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean, you mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another picture. Another picture, almost like the one we found before. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka. Huh? And they were all smiling. And the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows either. So the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one, huh? Now you found one that had Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? But how can that be? Conspiracy! Monaco must have faked it! But if the picture's real, then everyone was then everyone who was in it. There would have been some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. Is it really Hope Speak Academy? What if it was another school before they came here? 
but it is hard to believe that they don't recognize each other and yet they're in the picture as if they've known each other before. What? Or maybe the fact is is that they did not know it. they knew each other in the past. Like maybe that was two years ago. I don't know. It can't be. It's a fake. But Monokuma actually said that it was real, more or less. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but. So then. Oh, so then you trust Monokuma's words over the people who have died, M Makoto? Huh? Because. That's what you're saying, isn't it? No, no, Kyogo, that's not it at all. I'm shocked. <laughs> you tell everyone how we- Wait, well, am I shocked? You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same, huh? <laughs> Come on, Kyogo, that's not what I'm saying! What's going on with her? Why are you getting so emotional? Uh, because we wouldn't tell her about Sakura's secret, because we didn't have enough evidence, and we didn't want to cause trouble, which we already got ourselves into, Bakoto. I don't understand why she's so... Hey, come, come on. on guys, quit it with the fighting or all, or your, all your good luck's gonna float away. Dude, there's no such thing as good luck. Good luck and bad luck are just stupid words. They're just words, just like per the word perfect. Yasuhiro. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it way too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake those pictures. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything that Monokuma has to say. Well, you could be right, but still... Are you still conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice, it seems. Oh, look who decides to appear when all of a sudden the air went... W the air went sour. Biakuya. <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. <laughs> you were all so ugly before. You shouldn't let that sink any lower. It might make me vomit. <laughs> when I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of... Manure? Manure? What? I don't want. I don't think I want to know what that word means because I feel like it's a smelly thing. You know? Well, excuse me, Prince Boy. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. Since all you care about is yourself. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems are not my problem. Nor are we friends. We are and always will be complete strangers. So whatever is causing your face to turn so ugly has absolutely no interest in nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Huh? Did he finally just say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good after all. Such I was man. in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking a bath? Is he saying he's been talking to Alter Ego? Did he tell us tell him something? Maybe we should all go take a bath. Maybe we should all take a bath. Ah, mm. uh, good idea. Mm. A mixed bath? Are you serious? Okay. A mixed bath? Ew! If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. Well, I guess we'll take a bath. When I got to the dressing room... Toko, I forgot about you. Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here... Did you decide to come here... To hear what Alter Ego has to say as well. What's your problem? I, I already heard it with M Master. <laughs> <laughs> with Master. Oh. oh boy, we get it. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing here right now? <laughs> Shut up! Don't don't talk to m m m me. How about that? Get out of the way. We need to talk to Alter Ego, girly. Well. No, I made mean, Master a promise. A promise. <laughs> my, my master told me to w w wait here, so th that's what I'm d d doing. Huh? What are you? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if, if that's what master wants, uh, I do anything he uh, he uh, ask. Mm. You just love being mistreated. What a masochist you are. Mm -hmm. Well, fine. If you really want me gone by all my means. <laughs> 
Oh no. What the fuck? What? Hey guys, what's going on here? <laughs> um, we like you to move? Yes! Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg first. What? First a mega masochist, now a super sadist? Of course. essentially our opponent right now. I'm not sure I trust her to keep her word even if we did do what she asked. What the heck? Whatever it is, I really don't want to have to beg her. Come on, Makoto, just do it. Do what? Why has it got to be what me? Are you saying? It's fine. It's not the end of the world if you beg a little. But she's talking about all of us, do that. Just a second. No, it would be the end of the world for me, you know. Hmm. Well, guess we have no choice but to use force. A shot to the face would stand out, so go for the gut. Uh, dude, she's a girl. Who cares? I've already got a mountain of losses waiting for me when I get out. What's one more? Hey, Afro Thunder, don't get any bright ideas or else I'll skin you alive. You're totally not adorable, so I'll make sure you when, I'll make sure you live when I stab you, but it'll hurt like heck. Uh, um, I'm strong against women and children, but not women and children that seem strong. You know, Bayasa, if you ever die, I will never miss you. This guy's the worst. He's worse than worse, dude. Uh, Kyoko, about the picture from before. Oh boy, she's being very thorough about pretending I don't exist. Genocide Jack is sitting in front of the laptop, so I can't get to it. Ah, What do you want, Jill? Um, Toko? Seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let me, us, use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I just said? I told you to kneel in back then if you want this computer so badly. How about that? Come on, Makoto, give her the old one-two combo, one drop to your knees to beseech. Why the heck are you talking like that? This isn't some fighting game, and I never played a fighting game like that. I was so desperate as I felt. Finally, I did. Man, I didn't want to do this, but sadly, I'm the average person, so as desperate as this was, and as I felt, I kneeled in front of her and said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> such an ultra mir Just such an ultra miraculous feeling of happiness. All my pent up anger and master for abusing me is evaporating. Oh, so that's why you're so ticked. You're because of Biya. Why couldn't you take it out on Biakuya then? Why don't you just get him already? I mean, he we don't like him. Well. I don't know. I mean, just freaking snatch him already. We don't want Bianca in our life anyway. So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, is it? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego then. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you all go. You're really cold. Everyone, come closer, please. I already told Bianca, but. I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Huh. Kept you waiting, huh? Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally. The time has come. Uh, um... Mm. I'm, I'm starting to get nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands had started to shake. Just a second. Move. The single word that was like a sharp blade, wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then... Here we go. Kyoko began typing. The words appeared as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particular important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a common a commun a commun communal life for them. Communal, I think is how you say it. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. 
The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th that's I see. Th it's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Oh. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administrators of Host Peak Academy themselves. What? Wait, hold on. Then the reason we've been in prison here? It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. No way! It was... The school leader? Headmaster itself? <laughs> that makes no sense. Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego's finished, so be quiet. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened a year ago. This is how they described that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tra tragic event in human history. What does that even mean? What was so bad to human, hi human history that it would lock us up like this? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy, it was apparently some sort of devastating... Occurrence. Ac occurrence. Because of the tragedy... Host Pick Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and closed down. Oh. I wonder- wait. Tragedy, are they talk- oh, never mind. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, a year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Host Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They plan to sit- sequester the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives so, but um, why would the hope speak administrators want to shut everyone in, in like that hey and what could this tragic event have possibly been wow in a flash you don't type your, their question into the computer and the answer we got was sorry, sorry i don't know if that information if that information was ever on this computer it's gone now I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Oh, how disappointing. Oh, wait! There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has something to do with the mastermind, perhaps. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue. I hope. The one leading the host peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate to isolate you or isolate you was the host peak was the host peak headmaster. So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late thirties. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in this school right now. The headmaster? The headmaster? He's here in the school? Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monaco has been calling himself the ma the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which means, which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. You're serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? Um. <sighs> I'll find a way. Huh? Bye. No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. I will find him, even if it costs me my life. No matter what? No matter what the cost. So, um... Kyoko, you're scaring us. What's with that face? Bye. I I can't explain it. I just I just know that I have to find him. He has to? Kyoko, what's wrong with you? When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost, well, terrifying, like she wanted to murder him herself. So then. We should see if Alterica has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's all I found, unfortunately. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I could do from here on. Sorry. I'm real sorry. <sighs> then... Then it's over. It's really over. Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, there is something I wish to try. It's kind of a different topic, though, but... 
I was wondering about something. Um, I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence just came across us in the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um, I see. Certainly I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened, huh? <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then... I guess that's it. That's it. A simple phrase that held, that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job, alter ego. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am, am I? Then, I think I'll just take a rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, and I'm sorry I couldn't be much more help, everyone. See you, hopefully. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Eagle did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But... I feel so sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But you do know he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still... He did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm... I mean, yeah, it did. But that's what a computer program's designed to do. They're designed whatever the way you design them to, or program them. You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm... No, I suppose not. But when you talk to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way? I know what you mean. I feel the same. I felt the same way. Hey. hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? Uh, yeah. And between talking to a friend and a program that listens to everything you tell it, whether it's good or bad, versus a friend, if you say the wrong thing, you become you lose that friend. Get, the, get with the program, Yasuhiro. But you know, what's the difference between us and that pro- But you do know the difference between us and the program, right? Huh? What? I started thinking about how you would... Differentiate a person and an AI, artificial intelligence. Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our... Friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think. Well, maybe from your point of view, he's our friend because he's helping us, right? <laughs> then I guess there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier. This is a weird part because even though Alter Eagle is a computer designed to do whatever you say, he's a friend because his creator, Chahiro, was friendly to help the others out, to help the others escape. An AI could be, I guess, a friend or an enemy or whatever, depending on who created it and who programmed it. But it's still weird because it's not, it's just an AI that, that learns from what you do, so it learns, but it's like, I don't know. How about that? Check this out, friendship has no survival value, instead it gives you, it gives value to survive. So... That's kind of obvious, isn't it? Well, whatever. So anyway... What? What? Don't say anyway, that's, th that's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. Shut up, idiot. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Eagle, Alter Eagle can do to help us now. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about this? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I have... I question the ease with which you decide who is and isn't your friend. You really mean that, Kyoko? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Eagle said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, I suppose. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? <laughs> What? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that hap that what happened a year ago is what started everything. Wow. Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless, hopeless event in human history, right? That sounds weird. The biggest, most awful, most hopeless. The word hopeless makes it look like it's by hopeless it was unstoppable. I should have said most unstoppable event versus hopeless. Hopeless means that it's useless or it's pointless to continue. I should have said unstoppable or something or un un unavoidable something. It must have been a huge incident, whatever it could have been. 
But did it something like that really happen just a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening that, that you could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... Yeah. It's hard. I, I agree. I don't watch the news. My mother does. But watching the news, it's always something negative. It's always something horrible. And it's just, I got tired of watching that. But the news is important, so you're aware of what to, what's expected. What to, happened today, yesterday, late morning, etc. Keep you, yourself, your family, and your loved ones, as well as your new creative family or brought in family safe, etc, etc. I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least... If nothing else, it has had... It must have had made some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. Like us. However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would have remembered that. Then... Maybe they covered it up? That would explain why none of us knew that the school had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not completely or totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like this, you know? Anyway. Maybe. But right now, there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him. I swear it. Kyoko, you're doing it again. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. What? But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should just get out of here. Uh, um... Oh, uh, yeah, good idea. Yep. <laughs> then I... <laughs> revert back to Toko. Uh. Huh? What happened? Where am I? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Oh, oh no. I, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Byakuya's gonna b b be mad at me again. <sighs> let's avoid getting into... Invo let's avoid getting... Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um... Sure, I'll accept that. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, my heart is pound, pound, pounding away. It's pounding me angry. with anger. <laughs> You're not still mad about the whole b b break into the headmaster thing, room thing, are you? We haven't done it. We promise we won't do it. <laughs> oh, that little matter doesn't even matter anymore. And I'm a little jealous you guys enjoying an incident mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. <laughs> oh, it's building. Build it, building! Now I'm really angry! My head's about to boil over with rage! Please! Look, man, we said we're sorry. Let me help center your chakra or something, please! <gasps> Wait, what is that? Etch? Etch? Etch this? Etch this on the walls of your brains, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back at you. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Basically, a, a counter. We got it. Huh? Fang for a... Fang? <laughs> but be careful, he just chanted the incantations of devastation! <laughs> no, it's just the same. Hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. But what's he talking about? The despair's building up! I tried. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall... Okay. What am I doing? I've heard this before. Correct. So, it's night time. Obviously, it's right there. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our night time rule, but now she's gone. I think we should still avoid being out at night time. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um... Same here. It's or, true. I agree, I mean. Same here is what I meant to say. Very well, then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms.
Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anx anxious the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost. I got lost in thought! What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my mind. The administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. And apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all. The mastermind. All these mysteries make me worry. But I still have to try and unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough. But I don't have any other choice. Monokuma Theater! Did not miss this. But oh well. Let's talk a bit about where I was at before I became a bear. At first I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for, the, for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out, it wasn't a tiger prawn like I hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? Instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. <laughs> I hope my voice is entertaining you guys. Because like I said, if, if it bothers you, let me know. And I'm not going to sing that bing bong or ding dong bing bong, whatever it's called this time. Because I was distracted. Good morning, Epiatra. Yeah, 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 we know. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. There's a lot going on. Kyoko still. I see Biako and Aoi in the in the distance. Wait, really? Okay, I just realized I'm turning the camera around and I'm pushing left on the analog stick and Makoto's turning around. Okay, so apparently I thought I only all I have to do is just move the uh, left analog stick. I don't have to move the right stick. All the right stick does is move up and down and left and right. Oh, never mind. I do have to use it. Aoi, how are you doing? Morning, Al. Hina. I call her Aoi. Hey, you know her. She said her name is... She prefers to be called Hina, but I'm always going to call her Aoi. It's funny. Morning. <laughs> hey, so yesterday you were kind of cool. What do you mean I was cool? I was a chicken. Yeah. You know when you said Alter Ego was your friend? So, I was um... thinking the same thing. But when stuff like that happens, I never know how to say what I'm thinking. You got it. So I'm really glad you said it for me. So thanks. <laughs> sure, you're welcome. Yeah. You're usually like totally normal, but when the time comes, bam, you bust out your special abilities. I mean, even before yesterday, when stuff comes up, it's like, you always do something about it. Even before yesterday? Are you talking about the class trial and stuff? I mean, that stuff is just... It just kind of took care of itself, you know? It totally did not. Um... With your power and Sakura's and everyone else, I'm sure we'll all get out of here. Yeah, I think I'll agree to that. Okay. I'm right, all right. I'm right? I'm right, all right! Now that we got that fighting spirit, let's go eat some grub. I suppose I can believe her. Even if the road is long, if we don't keep on moving forward, we'll never reach our goal. Oh boy. Hey, Biakuya. What, what do you want, snot boy? Well, the breakfast meeting? That's enough. You honestly expect me to go in there? Right. Well, actually, as long as I'm here... I should ask Bianca what he made of the what he made of the stuff Alter Ego told us. Actually, no, you know what? I better not. The surveillance camera would catch us for sure. What? Well, what is it? Um, well get lost, worm. And he's left. What a jerk. Should've known that. Alright, well I'm gonna check around because I feel like Kyoko's watching me with rage. Anyone else around here? Anyone else? I know there's only seven of us, but sadly only five of us are active. While two of them are just kind of... 
All right, into the dining room. Save some for me, please. I may be normal and skinny, but I need my food. As I entered the dining hall, the first thing I saw was her. Toko or, or Jill? But I mean, Toko or Kyoko? Toko. <laughs> what are you just staring at? Oh, Toko? What's your problem? What? You think your, your eyes would rot by l looking at me? Fine, the they don't l l look at me. <sighs> I, think she, I think he's just surprised to see you at the breakfast meeting is all. Jeez. Mm. Indeed, it's been quite a while since you joined us, Toko. Um... Yeah, what made you change your mind? <laughs> Byakuya said he <laughs> likes a girl to have some m meat on her bones, so... <laughs> I'm g g gonna start eating. I'm g gonna force it d d down into my stomach. I'm g gonna eat till I drop. Okay. I refuse to l lose to you. Hina. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Hina. Other than that, it looks like Kyoko isn't here. You know? Oh, she says she will come by here later. Later? You know? Yeah, after you leave. She's not even trying to hide it anymore. I know I said she wanted you to show some I know I want I know she want I know I said she wanted you to Wait, I know I said she wanted you to show some backbone. Okay, that's a spell here. I know she I know I told you to show her some backbone, but you didn't have to do to show her that much backbone. Just a second. You're dirty, Makoto. Dirty. President Dirty of Dur Durlandia. Ugh, oh, Owie, you're you're filling my brain with owies. It that's not what happened. You don't understand. Just the worst. You're the type who takes the stairs of love three steps at a time, aren't you? I'm telling you, that's not what happened. <laughs> Just just shut up already, Hina. You've been running your f f filthy mouth like that all m m m morning. Filthy? Me? Don't m m make me re repeat myself. I'm not filthy. Oh, you sure are filthy. What did you say to What did you say to Makoto and Kyoko when they were heading out to check something out? What did you say? Like you really get the wrong. You jumped to conclusions, girl. It's n n no use denying it. We can all see how disgusting you are. Huh? Sh shut up! I'm not like that. Uh, you and that lusty uh, body of yours, and her and Toko's. Uh, wait. I just realized that the color of Toko's eyes. I'm, I wasn't paying attention, but they're gray. Hmm. I thought Toko's eyes were, were brighter than that. Oh, maybe it was Kyoko's eyes that got that threw me off. Cause Kyoko's the characters the characters don't have highlights, so I don't pay attention to their eyes that much. It's weird. And when I say highlight, like those little white things on their eye on their pupils or not pupils on their eyes, which deflect like eh, it's hard to say. You and that lust body of yours, night after the night, you go out with your illicit. Is that how you say it? Illicit. I don't know how to say that. It's like a. It's, I don't know what that means either. C -c Club meetings. Ooh. Hey, hey! Whoa! Knock it off! I can't deal with dirty stuff like that or hearing what you're what you're saying out of your dirty mouth. Your m m midnight. <laughs> so, oh my goodness! Sex, sex, sex track. Sex, sex, sex track. Curricular. I can't pronounce that word. I'm sorry. Satra sex track. Curricular, subtract curricular activities only put us in even more d d danger. Please S stop that, please. You like me to s stop, wouldn't you? Your sweaty hands gripping the big fat chalk to t ew. Toko, oh my goodness, look at her face. Toko, you are. I knew you were a pervert, but now we're seeing the, the lust side of you. My goodness, no wonder Biakuya hates you. Too dirty minded. I, don't, I understand people use that as a joke or as a as a as a meme or phrase or something, but you're pushing it over. It's like you actually saw something. Ew, okay, I'm not going there. Going for all the e extra credit. Your screams are like the screech of a violated chalkboard, a uh, blackboard. And 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 it's oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. 
amazing. Instantane ideas are coming to me at one after another. Bastard! So would you rather have a black eye on the left or the right, you dirty monster? <laughs> come in, say, come in, say, come in, say, come in, say, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Hey, come on. Let's let's just leave Toko alone, okay? She's got a little, well, funny from all of her pent up frustration. No, she's just messed up in the head because of Biakuya massacring her all over, or being or treating her with uh, whatever. You know. Anyway, you and Kyoko need to make up already. You know. You don't have to tell me because I already know. I mean, of course, I want things to get better as soon as possible. But with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to talk to her about what I saw. Before anything, I need to talk to Sakura about it. Actually, actually, I need to talk to Sakura first. Sorry, 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 sorry. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. If you want to hit someone, hit Master. Please hit him. Oh, please. Please let me watch you hit him. I think it's best if I stay far, far away from her. Yeah, her masochist is at a high level. Huh? Ugh, why do I feel so dizzy? I seriously can't handle dirty stuff like that. I think Kina has some type of weakness that we all didn't suspect her having. <laughs> Cheer up, man. It's not a big deal if a girl doesn't like ya. It's better than having one sue ya, like I did. Hero, I don't know what you did, but you probably deserve it for your stupidity. Um, Sakura? What is it? Can you make some time later? I was hoping I could talk to you. Ah, now that Kyoko's done, tell Makoto's, Makoto's trying to win Sakura's heart? Are you in hee hee Makoto? Don't care who they are as long as they got the right equipment? Watch out, Sakura. Makoto's transformed into Wild Beast. Prime Minister Wild Beast of Beast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why is this happening to me? What is going on? Hina, are you a perv just like Toko is? Well, can our talk wait till tomorrow? I like to get some rest today. Uh, for some reason, I've been feeling worn down these last few days. Huh? huh? Are you sick? Did you get hurt? Mm. No, nothing serious. I just had some minor aches and pains. Huh? Is that... It must be because of that battle. Um... But it must be pretty bad if you have to go rest. Are you sure you're okay, Sakura? Mm. I'm sure a protein shake and some sleep will get me back on my feet. You got it! That's true. Protein is good for all kinds of stuff, including aches and pains. Hey. You guys, like, worship protein or something. It's like your divine protector or something. Jeez. Okay. Makoto, I don't know what you, what did you want to talk to Sakura about, but save it to tomorrow. She's in pain. I just heard... I have ears, Hina. I just heard her. Jeez. I'm sorry. Sorry. You know? Well... I guess for now we can just eat? E eat? I'm kind of nervous. Hmm? Why? How come? What's your problem? Because I don't usually I I eat in front of other people. <laughs> Ever since I was, was a kid, I e eat by, my, by myself. What the heck? What about your family? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I used to live with my d dad and my m mom. <gasps> you had two moms? <laughs> what? That's just how... Things were. That's like a serious issue, dude. Jeez. Just let it go. You're asking for trouble, for trouble getting involved with her more than you have to. How dare you speak to me with that disgusting mouth of yours? Quit it. It's making my head hurt. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. If I don't. Kyoko's not gonna arrive because of me. Mm. Pretty miserable situation you are having, man. <sighs> I scarfed down breakfast as fast as I could and immediately headed back to the to my room. I get the feeling it's free time. I'll have to wait till tomorrow to confront Sakura about what I saw. But in a way, I am kinda relieved. It takes a lot of courage to stand face to face with Sakura and accuse her of something. Yep, free time. I would just go to bed and skip it, but nah, let's see if we can talk to someone. 
I really don't have a, 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 a I really don't know who I can talk to. I guess I'll talk to Aoi. Because I don't know if I want to speak to Kyoko. Because Kyoko's mad at me for what happened. Who's this? Sakura's in her room, so we're not going to bother her. Wow, there's almost... Okay, the Kyoko and Yasuhiro on the fourth floor. Toko and Bianca are in the office, and Aoi's in the music room, so... Teleportation! Here we go! So I guess I'll talk to Aoi, because Kyoko's probably gonna... Kyoko's mind's filled with dirty thought. Oh, there's Yasuhiro. We'll probably... Maybe I'll either talk to him. I think I spoke to him before, and I don't, I don't really like it, because he's a... Uh, I don't have any item that would be good for him. Mm. Pushing on him doesn't help. Smacking him doesn't help. What the heck is up with those things? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm talking about the metal plates covering all the windows. Uh. Uh, I know. We should try grabbing the top and yanking down on it. You got it. You want to do some stretches with me? No. Elaborate stretching. Yeah, I believe I have what she likes. I think I have it. She loves those donuts. So let's give her this. A giant donut that doubles as a flotation device. And now you can snack on while floating out to sea. It comes a variety of styles. What? I can keep this? Right? Right? <sighs> Yay! Ultra stoked! Seeing you not just to play with something I gave her makes me happy. <sighs> Is something wrong, Hina? I've reached my limit. Just a second. I'm stuck in here. Can't do any sports. Can't do anything. I'm sick of it. I want to get out under the sun and do some more laps. Run a marathon. I want to do some real sports. Hina, will you calm down? Jeez. What the heck? I can't do anything in here. If I can't move around, I'm going to die. Like a bunny rabbit. Wait. But... I always heard rabbits die from loneliness. That's Whatever, I'm gonna die if I can't get some proper physical activity. Don't you don't you think that's a little over the top? What the heck? You think I'm kidding, don't you? But I seriously can't sit still, you know? Why else would I have joined six sports team in school? Six? That's right. Yeah, track, base ba track, basketball, softball, volleyball, tennis, and the big one. The the big one? Swimming. Got a, is, she's got the swimming. Your main sport is swimming, right? Yeah, you got it. Ah, I don't even care what stroke it is. Just get me in a pool under the blue sky. But isn't it hard to do that many sports even for you? No. If I can't move, I'll just shrivel up and die. And I need a challenge. More and more new stuff to try. A, a challenge? I mean, what if I really love what I really love about sports isn't winning, you know? It's having to fight and struggle and give it all you got to reach the top. It's that excitement, that fear you, that you might suffer a heartbreaking loss. But when you finally reach the goal, it's just lonely. It's lonely at the top, you know. I never get in, really got into sports, so I couldn't really relate to what she's talking about. But I could tell that the reason he know was so amazing was how she, hard she could fight and struggle. Um, so that's why I want to push myself as hard as possible when it comes to swimming. I want to aim for the very highest mountaintop. The highest mountaintop. Okay. I'm talking about the gold medal, of course. Aim for the gold, even if it means I'm a super gold spaz. Did she just call herself... Okay, but if that's what you want, isn't that all the more reason? If you have a goal, why are you standing around making excuses? Huh? Excuse me? Excuses? What? Just a second. Hey, when did I ever make any excuses, Makoto? Sure, maybe we're stuck in here right now with no way out. But if you really want to make an effort, shouldn't you try to see what you can do in the meantime while it's stuck in here? Oh. Mickey! That's a challenge! You just made an official challenge! Yeah, totally. But I think you're right. If I want to get that gold medal, I have to make every effort I can count. I want to become a genius of effort. I bet Ian... Ian or Ian... Thor page says something like that. Okay. Yeah, I can't go around making excuses just because we're stuck in here. Alright, I think I'm gonna go do some push-ups in my room. Like, maybe around a thousand or something. Almost before she was done talking, you know, took off like a bat out of there. She recovered exactly as fast as, and strong as I would have expected.
Alright. So, let's see. I think there's more free time. I think you can go twice in the free time. Yep. Alright, so we're, we're friends with Hina. So who should we be friends with next? There's Byakuya Toko. Uh, yeah, Byakuya Toko, Yasuhiro, who's right there. And then Kyoko, who probably doesn't want to look at us right now. Wait. Let me look at what items I have. Do I have anything that interests, uh, interests Yasuhiro? Hmm. Love stats. You're looking for love on your, on your left. You found it on both. Well, that's just asking for catastrophe. This one's just a hopes peak scarab. A charm devised by the protected diet of martial arts. The great and gracious Kaze, Kaze, oh. I, it says martial arts. This will be perfect for Sakura. Glasses. They said wearing these well-performing candidates will help you better speak with the... Oh, I gave that to him before. Okay. No. Leaf, no. No. Definitely no. No. This is... Uh, that already... Let me see. No. I gave this to Genocide Jill and she hated me for that. I gave this to Biakuya. Uh, I don't know who to give that to. I could give it to Hifumi, but he's dead. Can people... Can they put people react to various pieces of art? Uh, I don't know who to give that to. Tumbleweed. A dried up plant seen in many westerners. They pile up around yard, just toss them off a cliff or something. Unending dandelion. A dandelion toy. You can blow the fluff away and the attached strings will pull it back. So you can do it over and over and over and blah 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 blah. I don't know. Rose and Vitro. I don't know what that is. Cherry Blossom. Rose Whip. That. Ray Gun. Okay, that's dangerous. I wonder if Genocide Jack would like this weapon. I don't know. The Golden Gun. And if I recall, I gave this self-destructing cassette to Kyoko. A phone that for some unknown reason doesn't let you hear the person on the other end. Doesn't let them hear you. Pretty hungry caterpillar. A caterpillar toy that was all the rage years ago. As you pull it, you make it moves up and down, making it look alive. Old time radio, antique doll. Uh, due to the exquisite craftsman of the dog's clothing, many people still collect and prize them every I don't know. Crystal skull, skull card from Well, I already know what I'm gonna give him, this crystal skull. Cause the fortune tellers do have those. What's going on, Makar? I'm like super exhausted, so I hope you don't need anything, eh? Please. Can you try and cheer me up, Makar? I'm down the dumps and got no energy left. What should I give Hero? Definitely the skull. I feel like that the skull would be perfect. He's always holding a crystal ball. I mean, sometimes you can hold a skull, which is sometimes... I don't know. But it says something about... Something that would catch his attention. Let's see, it said... A skull card from Pure Rock Crystal. Something skulls like this like this were created 100 years ago. Perhaps with alien interven intervention and consider them old arts. But let me check something else. Golden Airplane? No. What's his name? Globe? Not the size of... It has that same word to it. Moon? You know what? Let's just give him the go crystal. Oh! Such mysterious power! This is the true blue oop part! He loves it. I, I found Yasuhiro's item. <laughs> Makoto, the dawn of a new era draws near. Seeing here so pleased on that game makes me happy. Yo! Hey Makoto, what's up, my brother and fellow mother lover? Let's raise our semi siblings up right, okay? Can you please not talk like that? That sounds so awkward. Whoa, so, so you ready good. for the next round? No thanks! Actually, how do you know you're fortune telling anyway, Yasuhiro? I saw you doing palm readings and such, and you didn't use any tools or anything. Hmm. Wow, I didn't know you knew about divine divination rules or divination rules tools oh my goodness sounds like you know your way around the spirit world 
or I'm not sure you need to know that much to know about those kind of tools. And I don't think I want to know what the spirit world is like yet. Spirit world is like yet. Yo. Now that I know you're an expert, I have a question for you. A correct answer gets you another discount. Please, no. Could it be? There are 22 cards known as the Major Arcania, and 56 cards known as the Minor Arcania. I feel like this is a question I have to answer. 22 cards known as the Major, 56 known as the Minor. Generally, the cards from the Major are used to, for divination. Do you know what I'm talking about? The Major and Minor Arcania, and the Major Arcania cards are used to tell the future. That must be... I don't have a clue. It's not. I don't think it's I Ching. Tarot playing cards. Yeah, right. So it's either I Ching or Tarot. I've never heard of this. I don't know anything about this. Uh, so this is going to be a guess. Playing cards is... Yeah, right. He's talking about the... The... the what you call it? The other. I don't think it's... Isn't that I Ching? Whoa, you... You even know about the I Ching? You're mega smart. What? But the I Ching actually is a special... Oh. Okay. The Arcania. Tarot. It was Tarot. Darn it. I was about to, you know, I was about to say Tarot, but darn it. It's just that if I said Tarot, I, I was afraid I was going to get it wrong because I'm thinking I Ching sounds like a different game. Playing cards, obviously, I, I was like playing Uno or something, so I know that was wrong. But I never heard of Tarot, and, or I, I never heard of Tarot or I Ching. I just thought if I said Tarot because it sounds normal, it would have gotten wrong, so I went for I Ching. Me. Oh, I know. You're talking about tarot cards. Uh, gloriously correct. I, I will not tell your fortune with for a measly 600 bones. Wait, really? It's something I never. It's something I never asked. I've had enough fortune telling for one time. Mm. I see. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Anyway, getting back to what I asked you about before. If you don't use tools or whatever, how do you use your? How do you do your fortune telling? Don't be mean. Well, don't be fooled. I have my own techniques. For example, I employ numerology. Numerology. Yo. It uses a mathematical formula to predict the future based on birthdays, letter numbering, all that stuff. But I didn't see you do anything like that either. Hmm. Well, it's more of an inspirational style of, ins of fortune telling. Some kind of unknown power just acts through you, and suddenly, bam, you've got the info. You're talking about intuition. How about that? Don't try and describe it as such a cheesy word. But if it's not intuition, then it's got to be some kind of supernatural power. Like Don't compare my mystery. clairvoyance to some oculate bullcrap. I hate the oculate. Uh, occult. I keep saying oculate. It's occult. Take that crap somewhere else, would you? You hate the, uh, the occult? Well? Yup. Now here's some good news. Act now and I'll throw in an extra bone on your reading. I used white magic to record a CD of spirit messages. I received from the military sweet from, sweet from heaven. Five seconds of this baby and you'll be witnessing miracles and commit com commenting with angels for days. And you said you hate the occult? What the heck? Hey, business is business, man. The more I talk to him, the less I understand him. Uh, I shook off Hero's sales pitch and headed back to my room for a while. Now it's night time. Yep. So with free time, you can either you can either go to sleep and and skip it or or talk to two people. I doubt Kyoko wanted to talk to me. Attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, and please, please. Sakura is tired, and I don't think I want to talk to to. Oops. Oh, sorry, I, I skipped that. I thought he was gonna say good night. It's time to go to sleep. Apparently, he's had an announcement. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that. I'm real sorry. He made a special announcement to ask us to come to the gym. And he sounded pretty serious about it, too. Uh-oh. We haven't been to the gym in a while. I mean, we've been kind of... We've been kind of going through the first, second, and third, and we explored the fourth. And But we're going back to the gym. Interesting. Wait. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Sakura? You're the last one. You're the last one. Everyone else is already inside. 
Aren't you going to go in, Sakura? Hmm. However... I... I just have a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this. That's for your reference. More than just a feeling, probably. Monokuma did call us all together, after all. Hmm. Sakura? Well, then. Makoto. If something happens to me, Hina... Huh? I'm sorry. No. Never mind. So then... I... I'm... Who would ever believe in someone who doesn't believe in themselves? Um... Sakura? Everyone must have heard the announcement and once we were gathered at the gym... It began. on the road you're about to give us your next motive presentation aren't you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's right you got us all together to present another stupid motive correct oh no not again is he right huh we have to go through this crap again oh <laughs> no I can't take this please no more I see. I'm impressed by your level of dismay. You finally see just how low on the totem pole of life you really are. Ah, uh, no! No, no, no! No, 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 no! That's not it at all! We're not here to talk about motives this time. Today, The reason I gathered you all here is so that I could get rid of my grudge. Your grudge? What? We have a grudge against you, of course, but I don't recall you ever having a grudge against us. Hmm. I told you yesterday, didn't I? An eye for an eye, a fang for fang. <laughs> Stop beating around the bush. Just tell us what your reason is so we can go back to sleep. <laughs> well, well, Byakuya, you've already told everyone how one of you might be working as a spy for me, correct? Come on. Yeah, so what about it? In other words... Well, today I'd like to tell you who that spy could be. What? Hey, so um... guess who it is? <laughs> the spy is Sakura Okami! <laughs> he said it. He said it so openly it made it sound like it wasn't that big of a deal. Even though he just revealed a huge secret. <laughs> what? Wait, what did you just say? He said the spy is Sakura, stupid. What is this? What are you talking about? You're a liar! There's there's no way Sakura's a spy. Um... Right, Sakura? Huh? Sakura? <laughs> and I might just make Sakura fulfill the promise she made sometime soon. And if she doesn't, I can't be responsible for what might happen to that hostage of mine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. What well, you guys chose to do with that information is up to you. Kills! 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 Roast her! Boil her! Kill her! Don't Whatever! I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> oh. Interesting. One second, guys. Just want to check something real quick.
Sorry about that. I'm back. Alrighty, so Monokuma revealed Sakura's secret, which is she's the spy for him, and now what's everyone gonna do? And just like that, he was gone. Finally, I understood what he had been talking about. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang for a fang. In other words, betrayal would meet would be met with betrayal. Uh, um. So, uh, what does this mean? Is it true? Has Ogre really been spying on us for the mastermind? What are you saying? What are you saying? There's no way. Well, actually, I should have said there's no way because she already said it. She already said it. <laughs> but that is what the stuff the bear said just now, right? Wrong. Well, You're he's wrong. wrong. There's just no way. Hey. Yeah, well, Sakura, if, he, if he's wrong, all you have to do is tell us. Ugh. I'm sorry. Um, I'm I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. Wh what? Oh, Damn, he no! was being serious for serious. Ogre's been working for the mastermind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. So you've been lying to us this whole time? Really? Huh? It, it can't be true. Saka was probably probably being controlled. There's gotta be some some reason. She didn't have a choice. She was just f f forced to do it. Yeah, I'm sure Hina's right. The mastermind probably threatened her somehow, and Sakura had no choice but to do what she was told. Yeah. What? You're talking like you, you know that for a fact. Because, because I do know that it's a fact. Because I saw it happen. I saw Sakura and Monokuma fighting, and that's where I heard it. Monaco mentioned a hostage a second ago, right? And during their fight, I heard Sakura say she decided to fight against the mastermind. I see. You saw all that? The mastermind took a hostage, so you were forced to swear loyalty to them, right? But in the end, you made up your mind to betray the mastermind. What? Which means Sakura isn't our enemy. She's a friend who can trust without questions. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> Ridiculous. Do you live in some sort of alternate reality of fairy tale? Not possible. She was the mastermind's tool. You obviously cannot trust someone who is who was a tool fool. Impossible. He, he's right. We can't just believe what she, whatever she says now. She could she could kill us any time. <laughs> How can we be even be sure she really did betray the mastermind? Maybe this is a double double cross, and she's still doing exactly what the mastermind wants her to do. What are you saying? Sakura would never do that. <laughs> okay then, Sakura. If you really have cut ties with the mastermind, tell us who they really are. <gasps> well, I'm sorry. sorry, I can't. Even I don't know who they are. What? You don't know? That just makes you all the more suspicious. But please. She's telling the truth. You have to believe her. Don't make me repeat Shut myself. up. I'm not finished questioning her. Come on. Next question. What's this about a promise? What did the mastermind order you to do? I was told <clears throat> to kill one of my friends. It suddenly felt like the temperature in the room had dropped 20 degrees. The weight of those words. I see. I see. So even now you take an aim on our lives. Wrong. You're, You're wrong. wrong. I'm telling you. Sakura would never do that. What the heck? You, you don't have to yell. What can you hear? You just for crying. Don't you have an insightful for voice? Terrible. It's because you're not listening to me, Toko! Wait. Please stop. You don't need to defend me anymore. <sighs> I have to take responsibility for all this. However... How do you intend to do that, Sakura? <sighs> By destroying the Mastermind, of course. Huh? I... I'm going to challenge him. Even if it means we both go down, I will destroy him. I'm sorry. That is how I intend to take responsibility. Hold on, what do you mean if you both go down? Hina. Hina, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this. What? I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. I went back and forth about confining you again and again. Scared. I thought if I told you, you might think less of me. But... but... S Sakura? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, all, all of you, including you, Hina. Sakura turned away from us and left the gym. And then... Hmm. <clears throat>
This is as such. Feel okay, no same thing. thing. Sorry about skipping that previous one. I didn't know he was gonna say come to the gym. Well, it's night time, so I ship. I, I ship. I suppose we should all go to bed. No way! Hold on, this whole thing with Sakura is Don't make me repeat over. She's our enemy. There's nothing more to discuss. That's terrible. No, Sakura's not our enemy. Why? Why does anyone understand her? What? What is it you think you understand? You didn't even know who she really was, Hina. What is this? Th that's. Calm down. Let it go for now, Hina. Talking about it isn't going to help anything. Why? But. Anyway. Go to your room, cool down, and we can continue this. Talk, Kyoko. You're not her mom. You should have just said, "Return to your room, re calm down, and then we'll continue this matter tomorrow." Cool down. Go to your room. Oh, you go away. It was the worst. The mood at the end of the night was just the worst. Being in such an awful mood, we were honestly glad the day was over. Sakura is the spy. She's the traitor. Pa Byaku says Sakura's the enemy. But he's wrong. She's not my enemy. She's my friend without a doubt. But what can I do? What can I do to make everyone believe in Sakura? How? Monokuma Theater! As long as you're human, there will always come a point where you wish to do- You could do things differently! Even a baseball player in the major leagues! Even a soccer player touring, touring Europe! Even a famous singer who started her career as a backup dancer on a sketchy or sketch comedy show! She makes a brilliant debut, but instead of going for more, she marries some third-rate actor and retires. Every human has regrets, has they they like to go back and change. But I don't, cause I'm a bear! <laughs> ding dong, bing bong, bing. I had nothing, sorry. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic, my, my mistake. Uh, hit it again. Morning, My nose everyone. itches and I was trying it to scratch it, but I kept hitting the mic. Get ready, to Get ready for another beautiful day. Ba -ba okay, I'm sorry. That's copyright. I won't do that. I'm worried about Sakura. Or Sakura. No, Sakura. I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. Uh-oh. I'm gonna walk around and then pretend that I gotta go to the bathroom. Maybe Kyoko will go, in, go into the dining room. Come on, where's the bathroom? That's not it. Okay, here's the bathroom. Everyone's me at the. Oh, come on, okay. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, I think she's gone. No, oh, she's still there! No! Okay, maybe, maybe if I ignore her, she won't talk to me. Fully. She's gonna yell at me. Good morning, Kyoko. <laughs> Come on, is she really still mad at me? Actually, it's not just Kyoko. Ever since Monokuma summoned us last night, the atmosphere around here has gotten really heavy. I can almost feel it looming over us, weighing us down. Sigh. Well, if nothing else, I need to patch things up with Kyoko as soon as possible. Um, uh, Makoto, are you okay? What do you mean, am I okay? <laughs> you were late, so we were worried about you. <laughs> what a dull, what a dullard. Toko? Byakuya? I'm surprised to see you two here. Well, Toko, never mind. What the heck? They're taking refuge here, that's what. Refuge? Such Don't make that stupid face. We have to protect ourselves against the Mastermind's tool. The mastermind. Are you talking about Sakura? Hmm. That's what I finally noticed. The only one that wasn't in this dining hall was Sakura herself. Huh? Where is Sakura? Stop talking. All I know is if she were here, I would not be here. The only reason I went out of my way to join the rest of you is a safeguard in case she becomes a threat. A threat? What is 
Oh. Why? Why do you hate her so much? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? Because this makes things unfair. How unfair? The game should be fair to all players. The existence of a the ex, the extents of a spy. Ex. Wait, the existence? The existence of a spy? Why is it extinction? Don't ask me why. The existence of a spy for the mastermind upsets that balance. What the heck? That's a stupid reason. What, what did stupid? you say? Stupid. This is a life or death game, is it not? That's terrible. It is stupid. You're a stupid idiot. Baka, 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 baka. Hey. Before you get too far into your argument, maybe stop and think things through. Why did the mastermind reveal that Sakura was a spy to us anyway? What the heck? They were getting revenge on her, right? Like Monokuma said, an eye for an eye. However... That may be part of it, but what? that's not the whole picture. Revealing the fact was also meant to serve as the next motive the mastermind wanted to give us. The chaos and confusion born from suspicion. The hatred. In other words... In other... Oh, darn it. This right here, the fighting, the bickering, is the trap the mastermind laid for all of us. Knowing that, will you stand here there and argue like children? But... Th that's not what I'm trying to do, it's just... I mean, how can I get you guys to, to believe in her, to believe in Sakura again? <sighs> if she really, if she, hey, if she can really beat the mastermind like she said, then I go a long way in my, that go a long way in my mind. What are you saying? Spaka, you really ask her to do something so dangerous, what if something terrible happens to her? <laughs> it wouldn't matter. Huh? What? If Sakura were to die, that's one less person for the mastermind to control. I've no objections to that. Biaku, hold on, that was cold, man. <laughs> In fact, if she did die, that would settle this entire issue, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would put the whole problem to rest. Mm. Someone just got the super slap. Woo, I felt that. A slap is no is no joke. If you get slapped by anyone, well, mostly a female, it will hurt. It's like a very bad burn. Not saying I've been slapped, but it hurts. I've heard someone complain of how hard a slap is, but I forgot who it was because that was years ago. What the hell? You disgust me. You're you're a monster. To say something like that, it should have been you. You should have been the one to die. What? I should have died? <laughs> Interesting. Darn it, Biakuya, stop stealing it. Then are you planning to take care of this yourself, Aoi? Go ahead. Try it if you dare. That's how it works here after all, right? What is this? You think I can't do it? Hina, watch it. You really want to try to murder, murder Biakuya for Sakura? Sakura would never forgive you. That's right. This is exactly what the mastermind wants, and it's exactly what Sakura doesn't want. <laughs> What's wrong? Lost your nerve? I'm leaving. I'll be in my room. Trembling with anger, Hina ran off. <laughs> that stupid cow! How dare she! She should die a thousand deaths! No, a million! What is that supposed to mean? Die a thousand deaths? I don't get it. What is that supposed to refer to? Is that some type of old quote from a game of, of a villain or something? Or is that just saying you need to be pulled out of the underworld, stabbed and killed again a thousand times before you're satisfied? Is that some type of hatred thing? I don't get it. So she was just another hysterical little girl. Hardly worth my attention. Dude, she just hit you super hard on the right cheek with her hand. Just a second. It's what other people call... It's what other people call having feelings, Byakuya. And all you can do is mock them for it. Hmm. What's wrong with mocking them? Hey. A friendly word of warning. Someday that attitude is going to come and bite you in the back really hard. I don't have time to And I will happily elude its attempts. I'm not afraid of humans. <sighs> so, uh, you know, uh, um, how about we, uh, eat? Or, or not? Maybe it's not a good time? You know? <laughs> Without a word, each of us left the dining hall. We headed back to our rooms one by one. Phew! 
so what do I do today? Oh man, it's another free time? Oh boy. Who should I talk to? I think Aoi's too angry to talk. Is she even in her room? She's not. Um... I guess I can talk to Kyoko, right? Because she's cooled off about us keeping a secret? There's Sakura in the chemical lab. Toko and Biaka are in, in the office. Aoi's in the music room. Go! Well, I already talked to Yasuhiro, so... I guess... Uh, I guess I'll talk to Sakura since she's suspected, just to kind of make Hina feel better. She's in the chemical lab, I think. That's the office. Oh, there's Kyo. Come on, game, please. Wrong button. This is the chemical lab. Might as well spend some time with Sakura, because I feel like something bad is going to happen to her. I'm sorry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready to open up just yet. Maybe if you create the right, right opportunity. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, you're, you still be. You still stand by me. <laughs> I still don't understand you, Makoto. You don't have to. I don't understand him either. <laughs> sure. I don't know what to give her, but I think I have a clue. Either give her that. Well, let me see. She likes to exercise, and I know she drinks. What's this? A uh, charm devised by the protective deity of martial arts and. Gr mm -hmm. You really want to give some? You really want me? You really want me? You really want to give me something so splendid? Mm. You know, I'm not. Cur I'm not quite sure why, but you somehow. You remind me of him. I'm sorry. Sorry, forget I said that. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> anyway, I feel a little better now. Thank you. Seeing Sakura so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Well, that was pretty short, so... Nothing happened with Sakura, so I spoke to her a little bit, so I guess... I don't think I want to speak... Oh, they, sw they moved. Biaglia is still a jerk. Uh, I spoke to Aoi. Uh, why did I say Aoi? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's her name. Hina. Aoi or Hina. Dressing room? Oh, she's in the bathhouse. Let's see if Kyoko's in the mood to talk to us. Maybe we can talk this out now because we have free time. Wait. Is she not in here? Oh, I was gonna. Kyoko, where were you? It said you were in here. Go away. Oh, well, I tried. So who should I speak to? I spoke to Yasuhiro, Sakura, and Aoi, so that leaves Byakuya or Toko. And according to the items... Good, ugh, a baked good made from black ingredients. It looks burnt, but it's actually pretty good. I don't know why, but I feel like this would be perfect for Toko. Toko doesn't think positive about herself, and she always says that it might be too ugly to look at. And saying it looks burnt, but it's actually pretty good, makes me feel like this would be perfect to give her. I'm gonna try it because I don't see her eating. I don't know what Toko eats because she's very, very skinny. Or I want to say she's thin looking. Or skinny. Like she's skinny looking. Like I don't know what her favorite food is. But I feel like that that right there would be perfect to give her. Because it looks bad but it actually tastes good. Well, it's a theory. Because otherwise, I don't know what Toko likes. Wait. Hallway, first floor, main area. Okay, so she's around here somewhere. There she is. Okay, yeah, she's totally going on Genocide Jack slash Jill. When are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> nah, not that I have much to look forward to if I did get out. Yeah, let's spend time with Toko. What's your problem? What? M more pity? 
Aren't you such a good, good person to show me all this pity? I spent some time with Toko before she started going crazy again. Uh, I can try. She likes it. Interesting. You're giving this to me? Don't think it makes me happy or whatever. It's more uh, annoying than in anything. Does this mean she liked it? Well, I guess it was an okay present, but not her favorite. I thought Toko totally hated me. But it's not like she can, she's going out of her way to avoid me, still. We're not actually talking, either. Hey, Toko? What's your problem? What, you have a question? You have a question for, for your classmate? Huh? Is she happy? So I kind of asked before, but what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I, I just were right. I'm serialized, so I'm always really b busy. And when I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot l like you. Yeah. Urgh, d d darn it! I have to go and open my b b big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now, do you? So she likes to study, and she's a writer. I don't know if I have any items off of that. No, it didn't really bother me. I'm used to hearing that. But I can't believe you actually write novels and that people all over the world read them. So, how do you get your ideas for what you write? It's like, is it like real life experience or... Are you stupid? What? What did I say? I told you, didn't I? I write romance novels. How could I use my real life experience for that? It's all from Im imagination. It's delusions. Deluge, deluge, let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you n n never do in real life. Mm -hmm. Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you have a already have lots of experience in, in love? No, I don't. I don't actually think so. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to put people making f fun of me, b b but someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty. Sus I'll, I'll get pretty sus someday and show them all. Pretty what? As in pretty beautiful or just pretty better? Boiling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time I'm sure she hates me. Well, so far I've been getting, I've just increased skill points. I didn't really gain it or learn anything. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Night time. Okay, I'm not going to skip it because I want to make sure he doesn't say anything important. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Night time already. Tonight feels somehow very uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Monokuma Theater again! Decline the offer to become a shrimp. The tech support lady just refused to drop to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back to just that she'd become a crab instead. How much more, how much can one person love? Crusty crusty si what does that say? Crustis crust crustaceans? Crustaceans? I don't know how to pronounce that. Crustaceans? Crust crust crustaceans? I don't know. I said no, of course, and she shot that. Okay, then how about to make you extra special and you can be a crab that walks sideways and backwards? But that's just, but how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or forwards, I want to go... Wait, but how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways or backwards, I want to go forward. I heard, I heard her every... I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the... Wait, I heard her annoyed sigh. I heard her annoyed sigh on the other end of the line. Then she said... You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you heard of the tale of the crab and the monkey? Of course 
I've heard I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed up says modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but no crabs. Monkey thing colors are sweeping the fashion world. But the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is crabs have no place in today's light speed world. Do your do your market research, lady! Which is why I chose the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. Yay for you. This game's getting intense. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet... Get ready. No, no. I need to do something about Sakura. I better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about one more. I think I'll go and talk to the others about it one more time before something bad happens. Wait. Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Three, two. Wait, is anyone behind me? Okay. Three, two, one. Running speed at the max. Make a turn. Boom. I crashed. I tried. Ah, uh, Makoto, we got a big problem, man. What's going on? Look, look, look over there. Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hero. Ah, shoot! Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! What? You gotta be kidding! I was... yeah. How did in the world do you die from, like, standing in that position? If you die, your body falls straight to the ground. The only way she wouldn't fall is if she hurt back was against the wall. No, 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 she's not dead. Open your eyes, stupid. No way she's dead. Look closer. Why? What happened? Uh -huh. Well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden, they were yelling, and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze. You Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real. <laughs> and look at my shapely collarbone. Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Quite the opposite. It makes me want to set you on fire. <laughs> uh, don't say that, because she will just put a scissor in your throat. Ugh. Mm, anyway, you totally non-adorable boys just get her out of my sight, or else. My I'll start cutting, sister. cutting, cutting, and indulging myself for who knows how long, and trust me, you don't want me to keep on cutting, because I will end up cutting the wrong ends. Okay. L Hina, let's get you to the nervous office. Come on, Hero, help me out. Uh, um... Okay. <laughs> yes, Patrick. I wonder if you could make a song out of both of their wee noise. <laughs> Inside Jack's oppressive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thanks. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah. It was really just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, we'd all be dead right now. <laughs> it's thanks to me, you know. Yeah, well, a thousand thanks to you, sir. Sir Stupid. <laughs> so sarcastic. That just seems to make you sound even more hostile. Hero, why are you so stupid? <laughs> but man, I couldn't believe it. I was positive I was about to see someone's life come to an end. Even if even if I ever saw something like that, I'd never be able to sleep around the person who actually died, huh? You idiot. Hina, what the heck happened? Oh, um, 
We just got into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess. Was the fight because of Sakura? But... At first I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk if you let jerk buttheads get get to get to you all the time, you'll never have time to you'll never have time left to live your life. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just without thinking about it, I just felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. Serious. A dozen t punches isn't really without thinking, you know. And with think and let me guess, when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. It's my own fault, but I just couldn't take it anymore. Because, because, because she was trying, she was saying all those terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over, the door to the north, the door to the north, oh boy. May I have to get some water? The door to the nurse, the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off of its hinges. And there she, st and there stood before us was... You can take a guess. Hina. Hina! Huh? Sakura? Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, n nothing. It's not a big deal. Hey! Makoto, Hira, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't us. It was just like Jill. It's all that demented murderous fiend's fault. <laughs> Please don't go Super Saiyan. Taka try that. It did not end well. Don't go Super Saiyan. Right, female Saiyans can go Super, but please don't do it in the, in the school. Damn. Hurt Hina, curse you to leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you? What is this? What am I fighting for? <laughs> yeah! I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch from a scissors. <laughs> Stop trying to go Super Saiyan. It's not working. No forgiveness. Don't you mean that? Whatever. I can't forgive this. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Sakura's face is completely red or orange. It's like her blood's about to burn right out of her skin. Uh, Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. What? What? Uh, I don't, I don't hate you. I promise you, and I don't want to hurt you either. Please. I can't forgive this. Why? Uh, <laughs> Somebody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... Hey. What's going on? What's all this noise about? I can hear it from my own dorm. Kyoko stood in the door of the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather that something happened. K Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura! Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. I'm drawing a line. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait! Sakura! He not sprang to actually leave the nurse off to chase after Sakura. The only ones left were... Oh, no. Well, I'm leaving. There's no point in going somewhere else right now. No, I don't want, I, I've been yelled at, I want to get out. I don't want Kyoko yelling at me. No! Um, Kyoko? Hm. Uh, still mad, I see. Hm. Yeah, I figured. That's fine. It's fine. Huh? <sighs> About that issue we discussed earlier. It doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk to you about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stayed quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah, plus two, I didn't want Monokuma to use Sakura to kill me. <laughs> To think like that. I wouldn't have expected, I wouldn't have expected such arrogance such arrogance from you. Oh darn it, I, I spoke over her line. Whoops. Let me check my voice real quick. Okay. That's good. What? 
because... Be because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. N no, that's not it, Kyoko. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. Whatever, I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I may have overreacted. Why are you blushing? Huh? Anyway... Anyway, it's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Hey, maybe the reason I didn't tell you is because if you did know about Sakura, what if you tried to do- what if you tried to use that against us and then later... Let's- I just feel like if- if anything were to happen, both she, Sakura, and Makoto would've been in, in deep- deep doo-doo. Like, super deep. Ugh. It would've been horrible, disgusting, and painful. And it stink- and it would stink. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Okay. S sorry and thank you. That issue, I, that issue doesn't matter anymore, but I want you to, I want to talk to you about something else. What is it you want to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? Well then, shall we get going? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. The Kyoko! Ugh, why is it that she's faster than me? She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived back with Alter Ego was the dressing room. So there's something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see me, see him. Apparently, he has something he wants to ask us. Alter, Alter Ego wants to ask us something? Correct. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently, it's a... Oh. Okay. So, what's he want to ask us? Hello. Oh, um, so it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glide across the keyboard. Is two not enough? No, it's fine. Two should be plenty. But what is it that he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? Kyoko typed, the qu typed in the question. What did you want to ask us? So, uh, oh yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Huh? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. Replied. Why? Well, um, you said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work, but I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to all of you. I want to work as hard as everyone else so that we can get all get out of here. That's, right. That's what Master would want too. So, to help everyone else, to solve the mystery of this school. That's right. The only way I can help is, to, is for you to connect me to this school's network. But, but if you do that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the mastermind would find out about it. They find you and they... You agree, right, Kyoko? No. I realize how dangerous this, this could be. But still, I've got to do something. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I... I don't really understand why, but, but still, when I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. Um, if it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. Is this what Chihiro would say? I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed. Too admirable. Too... fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what the difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. To th I think maybe that's a question even the program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is indeed our friend. Kyoko. 
I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. But because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind will really and as absolutely will notice, notice us. I'm getting tired. Or I'm drying up in the throat. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... But... but hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. No. If you were in his place, could you just sit back and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, would you be able to just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Sit, stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend? So, um, hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to believe I, in myself. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's no one place where the mastermind might not notice. Uh, huh? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. Obviously, this is, no, it's the secret. No! Oh my goodness! Oh. I'm sorry, I pushed up, but there was uh, the game didn't register it. I pushed up, and, and it didn't move up, and I pushed the AV room. I meant to push the secret room, but come on, control. I know there's a delay sometimes, but when I push... Maybe I should just mute, use the left analog, because when I select the... Uh, make the decision, I use the... Uh, I use the um, control pad, but for some reason... I think there's a, a delay with the control pad. I think, I don't know. Because I pushed up and was going to say the secret room, but it did not register. So trust me, I did not choose the AV on purpose. I chose the secret room, but the controller had a delay, or the controls delayed. Sorry about that. I hope that didn't affect me, because I hope Kyoko doesn't think I'm an idiot. Well, actually, she already, she already doesn't care for me, so... That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect the network from there. I remember seeing it... it an ethernet port on the wall. Or is However, it ethernet? However, just because there's no camera in there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the networks of Alter Ego and the mastermind. We'll also have to move Alter Ego and the mastermind may spot us going into the secret room. If they pick on any of if they pick up on any of this, it's game over. Yeah, you're right. That's what we have but to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Be stuck because that's our best chance to find any new clues and getting out of here. Kyoko. In that case, shall I carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. Oh, I get it. Where would you hide him? In your coat? Well, unless in your jacket? Your, unless your jacket has in pockets, you wouldn't be able to hide him. And they're pretty short. Your miniskirt is too short. And you can't hide him in your socks, so... Wait, how would Makoto hide him? It's true. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then... Then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. How is your jacket? <laughs> <laughs> it, it tickles. Shh, you can talk. You can't talk right now. We're going to move you to another room until we can. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been impl implemented. G good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there. However... Assuming the mask mic hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agree. Let's head to the secret room. Actually, we're just gonna teleport there, because I don't feel like walking. It's on the third floor, right? Wait, what? Second floor? Dormitory first. Holds piece second floor. Oh! It's on the second floor. I thought it was on the third. Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go and make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, she's acting. Pretty roughly, too. 
She was so forceful. I thought I made her mad again. Just a second. Why are you standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, okay. I'm going. I'm so going. Then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Uh. Okay, first we're going to find a network cable. She said it would be in here. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Found it! This is a network cable, right? Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected to the Eternal port with the cable. And that should do it. Um... Um... That's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me, I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can't, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so please, just wait a little longer. I'm just hold tight and put your faith that. in me. As I was about to do, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and the, all the rest of us as friends. Huh? huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all um all of the uh, documents were gone, just as I told you. I probably was a potentially mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. Ah, I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko walked away. She wasn't acting anymore, that was for sure. Ah, Kyoko! What? Mm -hmm. Um, so we're just gonna split up? Why is that? Yes, I have no reason to stay by your side at this point. Well, maybe... Isn't that a little too direct? Ooh. Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? Oh, you're so high maintenance. High maintenance. Th that's not what I meant. I just have more I want to talk to you about. Like, what are you going to do about Sakura? It's true. Well, something has to be done, I can tell you that. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. And what do we do? So... If we can find some new clue, that would lightly change the situation. Actually, that's all we can hope for right now. That's why Alter Ego. Correct. All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. Yeah, you're right. That's our only option. We're, we parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kinda... tired. So I laid down in bed. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Ego, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all... I had completely dozed off. Huh? Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. I was in the middle of a sleep. Who could that be? It's 4.27 in the morning. Hello? Makoto. Makoto, get out here now. Kyoko, ugh. What's happened? Indeed. Hina just came to see me and she, has, she was white as a ghost. Sounds like something just happened. Oh no, please don't tell me. As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's go then. Makoto, Kyoko! Hina, what's going on? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There was a window in the rec room door and I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Sakura? Is she unco unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her, Hina? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door to open. I tried knocking. I tried calling her. 
I wait, I'm sorry. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. Huh? So, so what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door's locked, right? And if we break it, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in no matter what. I just said wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have it's not locked because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It, it, seems... it feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it... Is it the chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, this door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then... Then there's, that's not a problem. We break it, right? Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll get something to break it with. Wait right here. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure. Kyoko didn't reply. There was only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! I found a broom in the classroom. Use it! Makoto. You can handle this, right, Makoto? Please. Come on, please hurry! Okay, stand back, you two. I took hold of the broom and swung it as hard as I could. Amen, directly, directly at the window, and all it took was one solid hit. Huh? The window shattered into a hundred pieces scouring across the rec room. I stuck my head through the, through the now open window and started jolting the chair leaning against the door. Ugh, this chair is pretty heavy, but I can, if I can just... I pushed it all with my strength and finally the knob turned. Sakura! <laughs> I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... What the heck, did she turn to dust? What the heck? She just... All I felt was cold death. I could only I could feel only the last littering warmth of a living body. Light had abandoned Sakura's body. And then A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which oh, you may already? use however you like, the class trial will begin! Oh man. It's starting. Deadly life has started. Oh man. I feel like that was a bit short, huh? but... Sakura's... Uh oh. Owie. Owie's about to scream in a bunch of owies! Sakura's... Dead? She's really dead? I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. I could only look on, look on a Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. I'm sorry. It's happened again. We lost another one, another death, another murder was committed. Muttered to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirmed that Sakura really was dead, checking for a pulse or reaction? I have to, I have to go get him. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. The rec room. And I... Why? Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I, that's all I could say. I 
I repeated over and over again. Uh, I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long... I got them right here. Oh, 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 ogre, no! Mm, yes, yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? Oh, too bad. I see. Sakura's been killed. Mm, I see. As soon as they arrive, Kyoko began... Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Sakura was murdered and by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Just... No. Whoever killed her is not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It was one of you. Hiro, Byakuya, Toko. One of you killed Sakura. <laughs> You're, ac you're accusing us before you even begin the investigation? I don't need to investigate anything! Because you hated her! You each hated her the very sight of her! I <laughs> you! One of you did it! I know it! You... know it? Jeez, I didn't know your power level would increase by that much just by getting mad! What the heck? What do you want, you, you despicable living backbone of a creature? That made no sense. Come on! Isn't it obvious I'm gonna hand out my little murder flyer? Duh! It's the Monokuma file! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> don't get so mad, Miss Asahina, or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. <laughs> now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you, Monokuma. Huh? It was you, wasn't it? Didn't you kill Sakura? Say what? Huh? Sakura wants a chance to mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again and then... In other words... Then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. <laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting a chance to finish things up with me. <laughs> Which, thank goodness for that. It saved me the trouble of having to go through with that with, to go through with that due, due to our little... Wait... And thank goodness for that, it was—it saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Yeesh, she was a pain. Because even for someone like me, it would have been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Whew. Hey, um... I gotta tell you, I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who was it, whoever the black it is this time. I owe ya! What is this? You owe them one? You owe them? <laughs> Oopsie, before you all get angry potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Because, I mean, your lives are all in the line, right? <laughs> what is this? What is this? He owes them one? I won't forgive you. I hate them. I hate all of them. I hate this whole thing. I hate everything. <laughs> well, I, for one, am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the Mastermind, after all. How can you say that, Biakuya? How can you say that at a time like this? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have... I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway... Right now, our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we all die. Hmm. Then let's decide who, stand, who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle this. Besides, I... I want to be here with Sakura for the final moment before we separate. That's Very well, then Nina's guard number one, but we need one more. Hmm. Kyoko, you do it. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider this an order. A an order? That's fine. Fine. 
I'll remain here next to Hina for now. Hmm. Then let it settle. Let us begin, shall we? Hold on! Before that, there's something I want to say. What? What is it? Hiro, Byakuya, Toko. None of you are allowed to step foot into the crime. What? It's your fault! Why don't you kill Sakura? <laughs> I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are in just as much danger as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use sport, you're not getting in here, understand? <sighs> well, it appears further discussion will be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear. I won't ask you to let us all in. Just let me in. What? Huh? What? <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. Nope, don't really care. Plus, I don't care about this investigation. Oh, wow. I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving my master, of course. <laughs> and you, hero, do you object? Uh, um... Uh, if you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear now. Then there you have it. What are you saying? Nothing's been dis- No, there is no- No, wait. There you have it. No, there you don't have it. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you should agree to his request. But, but... Hey. We have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive and to honor Sakura's memory. <laughs> Fine. I'll accept it, since I don't have a choice. But no matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. <laughs> Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body like her? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, Listen to me. all of us will face death, and we will join Sakura, which we don't want yet. Finding out who killed Sakura. It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's a kind of hopeless hope. We have no choice but to do just, just to do it. Investigation start. Okay, now before I continue, it is 441. The question is, should I continue on? Because it is, because here's the thing, by the time I finish this game, uh, the class trial lasted for three, let me see, I started the class, the investigation, the whole thing was done in three hours. So that means, if I were to continue this right now, I probably would not be done with this until 8 in the morning, and that's what I did before, and the, the, like I said, that's how, okay, see, here's the thing, I kind of want to get this, I want to finish da Dangarumpa as quick, as soon as possible, so I can do another stream, which I haven't decided yet, it's not going to be the part 2 one, because I want to take a break after this, because after I beat this game, I want to 100% get the trophies for this side of the game, and then I want to, then I'll start the stream with the other, but the other one will be for a while, because I'm, I don't know what I'm going to stream after, because I mean, there's only, uh, there's Sonic Me for Knuckles, but, you know, I'm trying to think, should I continue streaming, and then get to the class trial? Because one thing I have to say to myself is that I want to get through the class trial because I sort of forgot what happened in the previous stream. Because, I mean, as much as I would watch my own stream and remember what happened, I tend to forget to. Uh, and then I mess up somehow in the end. And I do want to break. Because what I could do is stop streaming and then stream again after about a one hour or so. Because I could use a break. Because I know this is going to take a while, like maybe three hours or longer, because this is case, this is class trial 4, and I won't lie, uh, it's 4.43 a.m., and I doubt anyone, uh, you know what, I'm gonna, okay, maybe what I'll do is I'll keep going until the class trial be, nah, I'm gonna just get past this and save it and start, uh, start again tomorrow, I'm gonna do what I did, what I, what I did with part 5, I think, or part 6, no, part 6 was the previous no, it's part 5. Anyway, let me just read this. I better check the Makuma file before anything else. The victim was Sakura Agami. The time of death is estima estimated to be around noon. The body was discovered in the rec room on the third floor of the school. There is evidence of a strong blow to the victim's head. No other injuries were noticed. However, it seems that at some point the victim suffered from violent vomiting of blood. Hey. I think that the case this time might be a challenge. Why's that? 
so... The only way into the rec room is the door we just came through. And that door had been jammed shut with the chair from inside the rec room. Which means the killer would have had to escape somehow after barring the door. So if the door was blocked from the inside and there's no way in or out until we broke the window, there's like zero escape, right? In other words... In other words, this is a classic locked room murder. Locked room murder? I guess we might still see kind of things... I guess you might still see this kind of thing a lot in the mystery movies or books or whatever. But could it be really... Could it really happen in real life? And right before our very eyes like this? Hey. Are you curious to hear more about what a lot room murder entails? Sh sure, if you don't mind. That's fine. When you break down this kind of murder mystery, there are four basic types. The first type is when the locked room is created after the actual crime is committed. Then, this simply means that the killer commits his crime, then through some special method seals the room. This mainly involves some sort of trick involving the locking of the room. Basic approach include a string of a, a, using a string or simply mechanism or simple mechanism. There are a number of variations. So for that, all we have to do is check the door to see what what that's we have. To, so for that, all we have to do is check the door to see if that's what it was, right? Correct. The second type is when the locked room already exists before the crime committed. Oh? In other words... Basically, the killer uses a special contraption or tool from outside to target the victim inside. You push the switch and it fires a handgun and you shoot an arrow through a gap through the door or something like that. However... But in that case, that doesn't seem to fit. There are no guns or arrows in the school and the door doesn't simply have any gap that would allow that. Yeah, I think we can probably cross that one off the list. It's true. The third type is when the killer stays in the room until it's open. What do you mean by that? In other words... They say they stay in, and when the door is open, they use the confusion to blend in with the group. They pretend they showed up along with everyone else, and that's that. That sounds like it would... That sounds like it could have been possible. Maybe. It's true. And the fourth and final type is when it wasn't actually locked a room at all. Not a locked room. In other words... By that mean, there's actually an alternate escape route somewhere within this room. See, this is a lot of novels and things, but in, in reality, it's generally not possible. You think we can cross that one off too? Indeed. I believe so, yes. So when it comes to locked room mysteries, those are the basics. So there are four possibilities. Then, Kyoko, which one of those four seems to be the most likely that happened in this case? It's true. That's a good question. Answering that should be our pri primary focus during this trial. But right now, I can't really say. I see. The way the killer set up the locked room. Until I figure that out, the truth behind Sakura's death will stay hidden. It's definitely a tough mystery. I need to concentrate and investigate as much as I can. A soccer and nothing else. Alright, finally. So as much as I want to continue on, I'm gonna stop the stream here because it is almost five it's almost it's like nearly ten minutes till five and I don't wanna stay up too late. I did it once, but this twice is too much for me. But I will say it would have been a good idea because then I'd be like closer to beating the game, but I'll just stream again tomorrow, so I hope you guys enjoyed this stream through YouTube, because I know it's too late at night for people to be watching me, so, hold on, so I'll see you guys next time, or maybe even tomorrow, maybe, oops, I can't believe I'm making so many files, but you never know, and I'm going to save again and make sure it goes through, alright, see you guys next time. Or tomorrow night, whichever one. And I'll say this too: if you do decide to watch me stream, I'm gonna try and lower it down to where I might try to stream before midnight, or at least before two o'clock, maybe like one o'clock if it's a must. But don't don't expect me to stream past two o'clock. If it's two o'clock, <laughs> unless I I uh, was on stream earlier before two, don't bother. Don't bother watching. But I will change my schedule in the future. But for now, I'm only going to stream like maybe 11 or 12 at night. Or maybe even 10 o'clock. But we'll see. But until then, though, see you guys next stream. Bye.